Uh, got the Ray-Ban Facebook. Ray-Ban Stories? That looks nice. I mean, this package looks nice. I got the Wayfair kind of glasses. There are three types of glasses. There's the round, there's the Wayfarer, and there's actually the Meteor. So I've got the Wayfarer, and there are six different colors towards these glasses, depending on which one you get. But the Wayfarer has actually six different colors. By the way, this is not sponsored at all with Ray-Ban or Facebook or whatsoever, or Instagram or from Mark Zuckerberg, no. This is just totally my open opinion about these glasses. So I've got the, this. It comes in a really cool case. This is actually a charging case for it too. Pop it on and it's that right there. That looks pretty sleek right there. So that's that, and once you tuck it off, there's that charging port right there. That's where it charges. I also love the fact where you can actually use prescription lenses on these things so that you would actually have smart glasses when you actually look smart. And so, you know, about this, you know what? <laughs> you know, eh. You can, you can come with me, actually. Oh, of, of course, I have to bring the camera. Here we go, Jacksonville downtown. Got the Facebook stories on. And I'm gonna show it off to a friend of mine that I'm actually meeting over here. It's actually right there. Oh, Vincent, LJ, what's, what's up? up? What's How's up, it going? Man? Oh, you are. Uh, Yo. <laughs> Is these the new Ray Bans? Yes, the smart they glasses? are. <laughs> yes, oh my they are. goodness. Dude, I didn't even <laughs> notice them at first. Yo, that's actually so nice. What? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Huh. Yeah. That's the camera. Vincent here. Hello. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram <laughs> at book underscore noi underscore noi. Hit me up. I got the link tree. Hit up the link in the bio. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a definite plug right there. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> of course. What do you think has to be like in an actual convenience for this thing? I mean, why would you actually get this? <laughs> well, I feel what like do you think? one of the best things that come with smart glasses as a whole is not really looking at the technology where it is today, because we have to understand that this is still this is still new technology. This is like version one of what could be the future. So while these may not seem all that much right now, it's just cameras on sunglasses, you know, in the future, this could open up a whole world of new possibilities for VR, for AR, conference calls. And now that we're all in the middle of this pandemic, this is like the perfect start of the technology. <laughs> I'm actually glad that I brought this guy along so that I can explain this to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the convenience, yes, pretty much, because, I mean, the hassle of taking out your phone and just start recording, and yeah, that's what we all do, but having this kind of thing, it's just click and go. Yeah. So that concept is there, but the camera quality, sure. I mean, probably mostly for like family gatherings and family things that you have to capture right on the spot, something like that. So that's something I definitely, but I did like actually the speakers. Oh really? <laughs> you like the speakers on it? <laughs> did you know that there were speakers on this? I did know that there were speakers on it, <laughs> but I've only ever heard that they were a little tinny, but I don't blame it because it's not like it's on-ear uh -huh. or it's over-ear <laughs> headphones. It's more like just a speaker that's right next, kind of like the Bose. Yeah. You know what, let's actually try to test it out. Just so you guys have a little bit of background as well. So I actually dabble a little bit in audio as well. I'm actually pretty into it. I own a pair of Odysseys as well. And I, ha I do have a pretty hefty setup at home for audio. So while we're not in the most controlled environment, I can definitely give a little bit of my thoughts as I guess more of an intermediate to beginner, beginner to intermediate on audio stuff. <laughs> Since I've, I've heard a few headphones here and there, so I can compare it to a little something. All right, here we go. Go ahead and put it on. How does it actually feel? This is actually so comfortable. This is a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. Does it actually like feel like an actual Ray-Ban? 
yeah, these, these feel like Ray Bans. <laughs> like they don't feel like these Ray Bans, <laughs> but these are a little more hefty. But they're actually like so light. They're yeah. really light. Do they feel like plastic or something like that? Not really. Or a what? little bit, but that's probably because they're trying to keep it light. Yeah. But it doesn't feel cheap. Like it feels hefty. <laughs> like it's good. All right, here we go. I can actually hear a little bit of it and probably these. <laughs> yeah, these these really resemble uh, open back headphones, which makes sense. I mean, you're not closed off. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of like a good thing for like, uh, like, for example, if you're like to go skateboarding, like with the Meepo. Yeah, yeah. And because I'd highly not advise wearing, you know, earbuds, mm -hmm. earphones because you'd have to be more aware of your surroundings. But for this, it's kind of like an open ear kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And so that you'd be definitely more cautious to where you're going. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Course. So it's kind of like the Bose, the, you know, the, the, those are the, is that the first one that came out with open ear? Bose? I think so, yeah. Those were the ones that like, made it big into the market. We actually own a pair. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, that's how I know what those sounds oh, like. So now you can actually compare with those <laughs> yeah. two. So I guess my first thoughts on hearing these is that since you don't have a good seal, um, the bass response is not going to be top notch with it, obviously, because you don't have a seal in your ears. So the low end is definitely a little bit more cut out and the high ends are a little more clear. They're still a little bit tinny, but for speakers of this size, just chilling in here, along with all of the, all of the technology that comes in it, you know, it doesn't sound bad. And for the average consumer, these sound way more than good enough. Just like what Kui LJ said over here, the point with these really is that it's not to shut you off from reality. It's to be an extension of the reality around you. And it's trying to bring the technology, I guess, closer to your head so that you're not more focused on your phone. You don't have to, when he mentioned earlier, you, know, you don't have to take your phone out, take pictures, you know, you just put these on, snap, right? Just same thing with headphones. You don't have to take your headphones out, put them in and be isolated from the rest of the world. Because like you said, what if you're skateboarding and, you know, someone yells at you, you know, maybe you're in the way, maybe you need to hear something important, you know, it's going to be important that you can hear everything around you, which these will let you do. You want to test out the quality of this thing? Can yeah. We? Yeah. Why not? Let's go for it. Let's go. Let's explore what's going on in downtown. I know it's kind of noisy with all the cars, but See what goes. You know, actually, I'm gonna take a quick picture. This. It was just that. <laughs> now, you know, there's a switch over here on one of the. What is this called? I have no idea what this is called. Uh, the arm. The arm. I think so. So there's actually a switch on the arm over here on the side, on the left side. That's where you actually turn it on where you turn on the glasses and then once you put it on, you would actually see an LED light over here on the right side, indicating where it's actually on and actually connecting to your phone. And I think it was color green, color green it would turn on. But yes, I can actually see that there's an LED light right over here inside. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's, it's there. There's a button over here and that is actually the shutter button the shutter button to record video to take pictures and whatnot the other thing is once you press it too i get a green light and there's actually a white light so that indicates the person you know being filmed that oh they're being filmed like you vincent are getting recorded right now yes i am <laughs> hello <laughs> to take a picture actually is just to press and hold say jeez how convenient was that? I didn't have to take out my phone. But of course, quality also matters. Perfect timing where there's a skating event going on and we're trying to just test this out and we're testing it right now. All right, let's, uh, you know what? You want to try this? Yeah, sure. There you go. Yeah, there. Now you can actually, I don't know if I can see that. I can't see the, the LED. Oh, inside? Yeah, yeah, I can see the green one inside. Yeah, the one outside. The one I can't outside, see it. you can't see it. 
that could be like a problem for like uh people being recorded like not knowing yeah definitely <laughs> this is a little of uh, a little creepy it's a little creepy if, if people don't know it's a little creepy not gonna lie <laughs> but okay yeah. so it's recording right now eh and it only actually it only records the 30 seconds oh so that's why i just heard it click off so it is uh, yeah. and then i guess it stopped now yeah and then to take a photo take it's a photo, hold you just hold yeah there it is oh yeah you can hear the noise too inside that's a nice noise it's a, it's a satisfying sound, it is yeah. satisfying <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's satisfying if yeah. you've got kids this is perfect if oh. you're out on the beach and your kids are doing something cool doing something funny you know and you got the ray bands on you know just tap it You've got a 30 second clip of whatever your kids are doing. This is like the perfect family thing. Yeah. This is the perfect family sunglasses right here. Everything's just so convenient with, with smart wear nowadays. You know, everyone has an Apple watch. Everyone has a Samsung watch. Y'all got the AirPods and the Galaxy Buds Pros. You just add these to the collection now. Now you're like a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what about quality? Everything's still trying to upload. Oh. <laughs> I guess we played the waiting game. <laughs> I was, I was actually afraid if ever it would automatically upload to Facebook. Oh yeah, definitely. Facebook That's stories. That, that would be scary. <laughs> Take a picture, boom. Exactly. Facebook stories, post it for everyone to see. Right. Okay, here. Um, we'll see the ones that you took earlier. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the colors are nice and vibrant, but it's, this is definitely more like stories. You can't hate on it. Like, it's really good for the size of that sensor. It's not bad. Let's see for a video. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's what I want to see. Here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, it looks like it does its own video stabilization, which is very nice, actually. So you don't have to like really stay still while you're wearing. Yeah, glasses. you don't. So I, it looks like it does its own. It's not. It's obviously not ibis. It's not in body. So I think it's kind of like. Um, no, it's definitely electronic. It's definitely electronic. But just from like first glances of looking at it, the dynamic range is good enough. It's what you would expect from sunglasses, and. Um, the colors are nice and vibrant still. It obviously tailors more to the consumer side of color where it's a lot more saturated and the skin tones are a little bit more poppy. But it doesn't look bad. No, the motion blur is perfect. It's good. <laughs> I can definitely see this technology going farther than where it is right now. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this isn't, this is just beginner tech kind of aiming towards what Facebook wants to do anyway, since they want to build a metaverse now that oh, they've literally yeah, changed right. to meta. That's so right. now that these are out there, you know, AR is getting closer and closer. Like all of our phones have AR and LiDAR sensors anyway. So, you know, the world where VR and reality, you know, it's kind of, it's coming together, you know, it's coming together. Watch out Facebook. Yeah, watch out, Facebook. <laughs> Oculus, we're on you. We're watching you. Instagram, oh, you're all Facebook anyway. <laughs> all right. In short, <laughs> these are awesome sunglasses. They are. They really are a great kind of concept where you have the camera's function or feature within your glasses, yeah. There are some times where, you know, you can't use these things and there are times where you would definitely use them. Videography, not quite, not quite there yet. I'm sure the technology will grow within it, the time, yes. And the things that is most important are the memories that happen in your life. Capturing those precious times, you know, with family, friends, anything that's the run and gun type of memories. Hence, the name, stories. We all have stories in our lives and that's what makes our book keep getting written. Those are the most important parts. That's what the benefit is for having these kind of sunglasses. They give you the memories that you actually need. 
This video was actually brought to you by love, L-O-V-E. I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, do all that fun jazz on YouTube, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.